Nibiru no, end of the world? Could NASA nuke planet X to save Earth or is it too late? NASA should be looking to wipe out Nibiru with a nuclear weapon to save Earth from death and destruction, according to crazy conspiracy theorists who believe the mythical planet will appear in the skies. Planet X believers claim the huge planet, also known as Planet X, will pass Earth at 4 million miles away in October, but the vast size of it will cause our poles to switch and huge seismic activity due to the gravitational force. And Christian theorists claim the arrival of Nibiru from Saturday September 23rd indicates the rapture is about to start before the second coming of Christ. NASA has reassured us Nibiru is a massive online hoax. However, many conspiracy theorists continue claiming a massive cover-up is underway and world leaders are preparing to hide away in bunkers while the rest of us perish. Some have even outlandishly claimed online that NASA should be looking to nuke Nibiru before it gets here. One online forum user posted, Isn't this Planet X supposed to be amazingly large? I say, if that planet comes around we declare war on those technology hoarding wipes. I put forth a motion to nuke the out of this Planet X put this in your SIG if you are in agreement. In January 2002. A dull star in an obscure constellation suddenly became 600,000 times more luminous than our Sun, NASA. But if Earth were faced with the threat of a rogue planet passing, could NASA actually send nuclear warheads into space to blow up Nibiru to avoid the catastrophe or would the mission be in vain? Firstly, the US space agency says it will not need to take any action because it has dismissed Nibiru as a hoax. NASA scientist Dr. David Morrison said, Nibiru isn't real, Planet X isn't real. We don't have to worry about this hoax. Dr. Morrison added, There is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. There are no pictures, no tracking, no astronomical observations. I can quite specifically say how we know Planet X or Nibiru does not exist and does not threaten the Earth. Secondly, NASA does not yet have the technology. The NASA Near-Earth Object Defense Program, NEOIS, has yet to test any theoretical way of dealing with even a large asteroid that threatened the Earth, let alone a rogue planet if one existed. And, there is not expected to be any usable system in place for at least the next 100 years. To add to this, two out of three of NASA's proposed deflection strategies, firing nuclear bombs at an asteroid heading towards Earth, or trying to change its course using the gravitational force of a spacecraft, would not work according to a panel of experts from campaign group World Asteroid Day. It is believed that hitting a major asteroid with a nuclear bomb would simply cause it to blow into smaller fragments that would rain down on Earth, increasing the area of impact. Scientists also fear we would not have a spaceship large enough to knock even a huge asteroid of course if it was heading to Earth, so there is little that could be done to affect the path of a planet. NASA itself believes it may be possible to destroy one if it was far enough away when the warhead struck. They have been investigating how to use nuclear bombs to deflect comets, asteroids and meteors. But NASA is confident it still has time to develop its deflection strategy. NASA scientist Jason Kessler, who runs the Near Earth Asteroid Program, said, The likelihood of something hitting us in the future is pretty guaranteed, although we're not freaking out that there is an imminent threat. The first asteroid was Sears, discovered by Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801. There are currently over 600,000 known asteroids in our solar system. Most asteroids are found orbiting in the asteroid belt, a series of rings located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. There are millions of asteroids in the solar system, usually found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, however those in that pass the Earth are called near-Earth objects asteroids are small. Rocky bodies that orbit the Sun asteroids are often called minor planets or planetoids because they are smaller than planets and even them a small piece of asteroid, meteoroid, 
the size of a car falls into Earth's atmosphere about once a year. Football pitch size craters are left on the Earth every 2,000 years. Some asteroids have moons of their own as a meteoroid travels through the Earth's atmosphere. It creates a fireball that eventually burns out before reaching the ground. All the asteroids in the solar system have a combined mass of less than that of the moon. Some asteroids were originally comets. The ices have gone, and the rocky material is all that's left. There are three types of asteroids, chondrite, C-type, made of clay and rocks, stony, S-type, made of silicate and nickel iron and lastly metallic, M-type, made up of precious metals such as platinum, gold or magnesium. Is this first image of planet X before end of? The U.S. Space Agency is confident there are no large asteroids on course for Earth anything soon. A NASA spokesman said, NASA knows of no asteroid or comet currently on a collision course with Earth, so the probability of a major collision is quite small. In fact, as best as we can tell, no large object is likely to strike the Earth any time in the next several hundred years. But online forums are awash with debate about Nibiru. YouTube by Sky Watcher Matt Rogers, a conspiracy theorist who scours the sky for evidence of Nibiru claims in a new video that world leaders know Nibiru is coming, and we are all doomed, but they are keeping it from the public to prevent panic, as they wait to hide in underground bunkers. Mr. Rogers, who is based in the UK, said, NASA has covered it up. The government shut it down to prevent mass panic, but it is coming, this is fact. There is, of course, no evidence to back up his claims.